Today we're going to be doing a timing belt on a 2001 Chrysler PT Cruiser 2.4 engine that I'm swapping into my Dodge Neon. I'll show you everything you need to know about setting the timing. When I usually do a timing belt, I usually take the valve cover off so you can see the holes in the dowels and I usually try to line them straight up. This is the, the crank mark. What you want to do is you want to line those two arrows up on the crank and just go clockwise. You want to get it right to the mark. I try to set them straight up when I start. So I try to get this part of the belt as tight as you can because you're going to want as much slack on the belt as you could to go over the tensioner. Now this mark's a little higher than that mark and you want to do that because when you spin it around your two full rotations it'll come and line up when the timing mark sets on the middle when it lines up. So let's slide this around. Now the belt's on. Then we could spin it around. I'll tension this up and we can spin it around for its rotations. See if it lines up. So when I set the tensioner, what you want to do is I use a uh, quarter inch drive extension and you just want to get those marks to line up right there. That's how you know it's properly tensioned. Then you get your socket and you tighten that up and uh, then it should be good. So I just set the, the belt and uh, you want to make sure both dowel pins are up in the cams and the marks are lined up. Down here on the crank is lined up. Now what I do, just spin it around two full rotations. So there's one. And there's two. The marks are lined up. Both dowels are pointing straight up on the cams. Now if you have adjustable cam gears, you can get them really exactly straight up, but I was using regular cam gears. The cams I use in this car are Crane 18 cams, and the, they are 2.0 cams, so the one arrow is flipped. Now to use 2.0 cams, you'd have to flip your magnet too to get it to work, but it's the same timing in a 2.4 and a 2.0. Alright, well thanks for watching.